It's the day we've all been waiting for. Well, maybe not all of us, but a lot of you have asked me when the heck can this be portable? When can I use it in my van? The time is now. It is a very exciting day for a lot of you guys because you have been asking for months, if not over a year now, when will Starlink be mobile? Especially for those of you who travel in a van, well, Starlink now has a mobile portability feature. You pay $25 extra a month and Apparently, it's working out really great. Now, with this additional monthly fee, Starlink subscribers can now take Dishy anywhere in their home continent that provides active internet coverage. This, of course, opens up connectivity for remote places that will likely never have coverage through 5G. This is really, really exciting. And I even know Dave Lee is currently using it on his vacation, and he says there's no other service except for that provided by Starlink, and so far it's working great. So check out this tweet from Dave Lee. He says, on May 3rd, I'm camping at a remote state park this week with no cell reception. None of my hotspots work, Verizon, AT&T, even T-Mobile. So he set up Starlink and like magic, high speed internet Starlink is changing the game. Elon Musk actually replied to this saying, Starlink is awesome for RVs, camping, or any activity away from cities. Now this capability will be invaluable to those who are not just trying to work from home, but basically trying to work from anywhere. And we're seeing a lot of people transition to that type of lifestyle, especially spurred by the pandemic. Now Starlink still doesn't support use while driving yet, but apparently that is something that they're working on. SpaceX says it's actively working on a solution for moving vehicles. Elon has previously tweeted about working on a power efficient solution that can plug into a car's 12 volt cigarette lighter and still maintain connectivity. Right now, Starlink reportedly draws between 60 to 70 watts, and this is an improvement from the roughly 80 to 100 watt draw we saw just a year ago. Now, the Starlink support page does talk about there may be some downgraded service if you're using this portability feature, and that is all because of prioritization. So this is being offered on a best effort basis with users at their registered service addresses receiving priority for network resources. On the Starlink support page, it says when you bring your Starlink to a new location, the prioritization may result in degraded service, particularly at times of peak usage or network congestion. If you're an existing Starlink customer, you can easily add this feature and it'll immediately become active. If you go to your account page, you can select the portability option. This costs an additional $25 each month. Now that is on top of your monthly subscription that we know has increased to $110 a month. And this is of course also with the increased price of the one-time purchase of the Starlink kit at $599. And of course the Starlink constellation is growing. SpaceX has launched over 2,400 Starlink satellites to date. Many of those launches have been in this year, 2022. In fact, 10 of SpaceX's 18 launches this year have been dedicated Starlink missions. So I wanna know from you, are you a Dishy fan? And have you tried to use Dishy on the road yet? Uh, I obviously know that Dave Lee is using it and it's working great for him. Um, I wanna hear from you if you have taken the time to try and use it yet. I'm pretty fairly certain it's working great if you have. And so this is just a really exciting development because I've been covering Starlink related news for over a year now. And this has been an extremely frequently asked question other than when will Starlink be available in my area? But hey, at least now we know that there is a feature that you can make it be portable for you. So I wanna know, do you think also that that $25 a month additional fee is justified? Is this something that you would be willing to pay for? Let me know in the comments. I hope that you enjoyed this update. And I have so much more news and videos on the way for you. You don't wanna miss it. So if you're not already subscribed to Ellie in Space, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.